Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we are going to learn ABAP RESTful application programming model, in short, RAP. We have created videos on normal ABAP, then ABAP on HANA, ABAP new syntax, CDS, AMDPs, and last video series was OData. After that, I was getting a lot of response from you in the comment section on LinkedIn that you should create the videos on RAP. So here we are. So today we will start with the RAP basics. And first we will see how SAP come up with the RAP. That is very important thing for us. We have already previously we are using the SAP GUI that we are using the ABAP, then Fiori model cam, then RAP cam. And what is the disadvantage of the older version and why RAP is required? And what is the ambition behind the RAP for SAP? And this will be the future I can say. So let's get started. You might have seen this picture if you consume a lot of content, SAP related content online from blog, from videos or any other place or take it somewhere. So in this picture, uh, we are seeing that how ABAP evolved throughout last decade. Initially, we were working on the ABAP 7.5, 7.4 or below version, then 7.5 came, then here ABAP on HANA came where we are working in different different versions. So we start with the our older classic ABAP. If you know already, I know most of the guys know, but the most important thing is that irony is that a lot of customers still working in on the 7.4 or below 7.4 or around 7.5. Most of the customer I can see still they are working. So we are th that is the reason we are not getting exposure to work real time on the advanced technology. Still we are learning, but we are not able to get the exposure. A lot of guys not getting those kind of exposure. So in this way, they were still working on the classical Dyn Pro, WebGen Pro. They are still using WebGen Pro screens. They are still using Cloud Plan Manager and all the things UI they are using. But 7.4 and onwards, we have little bit flexibility. Still, CDS got introduced. You can create CDS use and all data services you can create through the SCGW. And then those all data service you can combine and you create the service. If your front end got changed, then you can create the UIFI applications. And then Eclipse got introduced. That's a very important thing. If you are working still on GUI and your version 7.4 and above, that's a very bad thing I can say. Learning is okay. If you're new as a fresher and you're still learn little bit GUI, then come to ADT, that is good. But if you already work throughout your year, still you're using GUI, that's a not good way. You have to come to the lot of people, I can say reluctant to go to the ADT or Eclipse. But if you once come to Eclipse and start slowly working, one or two object you develop, then you will see lot of things we can do in Eclipse that was we were not able to do in the GUI. As per my experience, one if you something you are developing in one or that you can develop within 40 minutes because that is faster, especially you, you are, if, if you are working with the classes, that's that will go increase the efficiency go to increase. A lot of other things also do. Uh, you might have seen we have created 7.4 uh, videos and over data also I try to use Eclipse and show you how the it is very efficient than ZUI. So these things got introduced and we have to adapt slowly, slowly those all the things. But the important thing is over here, the as a ABAP per what we feel that since the UIFI introduced, ABAP per is came out from the development, front end development till the app is thing. Uh, fine, we were still developing the our UI application, classical Dyn Pro is still we were developing the our screens. And then WebDint Pro still we were doing something, something. Uh, we were developing our not something, lot of things we were doing. But as soon as UI5 came, we just need to develop the OData service and give and front end guy was developing. Or we have to learn UI5. That is very tedious guy. Again, task to learn Java scripts, HTML, CSS, and those other things, jQuery and all the things we have to learn and we have to do how to utilize that. That is very, again, different paradigm for the ABAPers. But SAP know those all the things already. So they want us ABAPer to develop little bit things from the backend itself. And so we can get, at least we can develop the basic applications 
uh, where the UI5 guys intervention is not there, those kind of things they want. So then come that a web programming model for SAP Fiori, where we were creating the CDSs. We creating the model from the CDS and then just uh, on top of the CDS, we were creating the UI annotations, annotations and through the annotations, we are creating the our front-end application itself. Basic applications like we are creating report in the ABAP, those kind of applications we can create using this uh, Fury elements. There we have select options, we have the filtration, we have group by, lot of things, ALV kind of things, read-only applications we can easily create without any inter intervention of the UI5 guys. Those kind of things we have little bit we power over there. But that time initially when this Fury model came, we just able to create the read-only applications with the OData published to through the CDS or you, you want to utilize CDS along with the SCGW that also we can do. But slowly it got changed and we if we if we want, don't want to utilize the SCGW and still we want to create the transactional app, then we can combine that CDS with SCGW and we were able to create the transactional app. But again, there was some lot of disadvantage over there when we were developing using the BOPF. So these are the one Fury model. Still, it was very good. We were doing a lot of things as a ABAPR. But there is a lot of drawbacks are there. What is the drawbacks? We have to develop our data model in CDS. Or data and service if we are don't don't want to utilize the annotation true and if you want to do through the if you want to combine a lot of CDS we have to create RDS and we have to go to SCGW there we have to develop do another development and we have to other if you want to do BOPF then we have to do some other developments so a lot of here and things are there then we have to combine then we have to create you to UI5 guys they will create the different application a lot of difficulties to integrate these all the things and especially when we create the application with the BOPF, we can create only the greenfield implementation, not the brownfield implementation. You might, you guys know, might be not aware what is this brownfield and greenfield. So in simple term, as of now, I can say when we come to the wrap part, we will explain in detail. In simple term, we can say greenfield where we will write, we will not write any code to create, read, update, and delete. It, as soon as you create the application through the BOPF, it will automatically work for you. You are not writing separate code, ABAP code to do the create, read, update, and delete. You just are telling these are the tables you have to update in the back end. It will got updated, deleted, or modified, whatever you want to do. Where this is called the greenfield implementation. But some not this is not all about the we never uh, it's not like that we always want to update on data model suppose we have already ready-made function modules or BAPIs are there that those tasks they are doing automatically in the back end so we can't call those BAPIs in the BOPF model somewhere to create uh, uh, create update or delete and we we, have, we were not able to utilize those all the things in the uh, BOPF so that thing come up that is the very uh, we can say we are not able to utilize the lot of legacy code which is having lot top means as if we have a lot of ABAP code that is the reason one of the reason most of the customer using lot of custom ABAP developer that is the one of the most ABAP most wonderful reason I can say the ABAP is never gonna die that is the reason they have to come up with something else so they can utilize their existing logic and the combine with the this new framework and they can create the application on top of that they want to do something like that then this is the way the rap got born restful about programming got born i can and what i feel in that way only uh, so this is the thing oh, in the with the rap with the older programming fury model what is the one another disadvantage there for example, we are creating now Odita V2 service. Then we are taking a lot of technical aspect also as a developer. Uh, if you want to create the V4 service, there is different classes and method. If you want to create V2 method, different classes and method, different things are. If you have already V2 working, if you want to convert into V4, you have to do a lot of uppers over there. You have to change the entire applications itself. So that's not gonna work in that way. So once the wrap will come, 
those to converting v2 to v4 everything will happen back and technical aspect we no need to worry just we have to focus on the business logic what is you want to do actually technical aspects this kind of changing the service and a lot of things it will be taken care by the sap so we know no no need to worry about that part and the most important thing sap also moving they whatever they are new create newly applications are creating they are creating on wrap only if they have existing bopf if they are feeling still uh, if there are major changes they are moving to wrap if there are smaller changes they are not still moving to wrap because if they are working fine so as a customer uh, or we can say as a client which we are helping to the customers we also think if it is something working so no need to convert everything to wrap if it is working in fury older model abap programming model for the fury it is working we have created it is working fine no need to touch but whatever we create new and our version support then we have to use this restful abap programming and we have to create all the wrap applications uh, from uh, scratch or if you are you want to utilize the existing logic that we are going to see in upcoming videos so that we have to do using the wrap the one more important thing i like about the wrap the, still the core concept are remains same sap core concept of the, for example uh, commit work update function module how it will be called those things logs and all they are still utilized utilizing those things when they build the wrap so that also we are going to see in upcoming videos wrap stand for abap restful application programming model if you see initially i usually pronounce like raspool abap programming model it's not raspool abap programming model it's abap raspool application programming model so i got confused because i thought a stand for the abap not the application again it's abbreviation you have to remember i don't know how it become it should it, it would have a wrap or something else but it how it is we can't say anything so it's a abap raspool application programming model and again we go what is wrap it's a programming model which define the architecture where we can develop the all data services on sap btp abap environment or even in applications our abap as well uh, we will talk about the btp abap environment might be in upcoming video but this play less more focus on wrap rather than btp wrap uses the sap hana databases and produce the application data means it always save the data on the hana database it, it didn't work with other database as of now let's talk about the other things uh, abap restful programming few of the points which we are going to help in upcoming videos and to prepare the system most important thing it work on btp abap environment and if you are working on on premise system it work on 1909 and onwards but uh, if you have if you want to try you can try but productive environment if you are doing uh, it should be i think 2020 or 2021 it will be better you will develop your application on that because lot of features available there instead of in 1909 and one another thing i integrate the abap language with cds language cds is we know cds is different language it integrate both the concept we can integrate the both the concept using the wrap it's a one one place where we can develop both the things wrap is the only recommended programming model for the sap s4 hana on premise on edition 2021 and onwards there is no support of bopf you can't create the application uh, fury application using the bopf and all data how you used to create previously you have to use wrap from 2021 and onwards even if you are working in 2020 20, you can start developing the wrap model so it will be help in to moving those applications easily in to the cloud in the future if your client migrate to the cloud that is the future i can see so some of the techno rap is the best on the proven modern technologies and concepts like tds or we can say modernized and extended abap language which we are going to learn that is dml nothing and odata protocol that is stateless communication which we have discussed throughout in our odata service that is the rap is also based on the odata service odata protocol and again the bopf business object lot of things little bit little bit things it took from everywhere and build the wrap 
so business object concept will remain same like in VOP app and we, we can do the draft handling obviously it will make our application little bit like more stateful and we are using the stateless using the OData pro protocol and it will be helpful to create the entire application that will we will gonna see in the up, upcoming videos and this we can concept of business services used to create we finally we are creating the business services we can create the OData we can create the INA protocol related services we can create the SQL based services these are the different different things we are going to do in upcoming videos and these are the simple simple steps so where we can work how we can work your anwa what should be your environment so you have to remember these all the things before developing the suppose a lot of guys are trying for example in the cds cds also they are they are starting trying those those system where it is for a cds entity work 7.5 and onwards they are trying to uh, create the cds entity and see uh, 7.4 obviously there is no sub there is we can't create their cds entities obviously we can create the cds ddic based cds view but we can't create their cds entities so it's like that you have to see your system version before starting with that and the key players in the ABAP, as I told you, one is the Eclipse. If you're not working in, in Eclipse real time, you have to start with the Eclipse. It will help you in the future. This when you create the wrap application also and CDS, obviously we can't create in the ZUI. You have to use Eclipse only, but still for other development also, you start using the Eclipse. It will help to create work on the classes and methods, how we can work that will help here in the wrap. And the, obviously languages which language we are going to use for the app abap and cds there is no other language and it is really powerful framework which will help us to focus on the business logic rather than the work focusing on technical aspects of the things like i explained how v2 and v4 so we will more focus on the business logic uh, using this powerful framework so that's it this is about our video this video it's not the end we just begin we will, in my next video we'll see little bit what is the architecture of the wrap and what all are the different objects are available and we will try to see further how we can go further from here before going to that video please like this video share these videos with others as well subscribe this channel and most important thing before starting this wrap please complete the serious video playlist which I have already created that is available in description and I button and if you see if you can go to the my project uh, means my what we can say not the project YouTube channel and there is in the playlist section you will easily find the serious playlist you can watch it out that that will be very helpful when we develop real time the wrap application over here we will use a lot of concepts from here we will obviously i will not explain everything again and again just i will gonna use and say you can refer that video if you want to learn more so that's it for that thank you and happy learning